context about what Ontario is, who we are, what we do best. Uh, the province of Ontario has 11 offices around the world promoting investment and trade for the province of Ontario. I've been lucky enough to be posted to this area, to San Francisco, where I'm located in the Canadian Consulate with our partners there. The province of Ontario is the largest economy in the country of Canada. We represent the majority of the GDP, the population, the income, and the employment base within the country. And we're one of the top 10 economies in North America, ranking number seven. Our strategic location uh, is what really puts us on the map and helps people understand what part of our value proposition is. Many people know our capital city of Toronto. Other major economies being Waterloo, Toronto, and other parts of uh, other parts of the province. The workforce and R&D really is what sets us apart. What makes us really key is our post-secondary institutions, our universities and colleges that are, are turning out a, a large volume of really skilled engineering and, and business environment with a positive tax structure and excellent health care system as well. Our technology ecosystem is really critical and we've got four companies that we'll be presenting today which are our strong parts of, of that economy. We've got a very strong global trade strategy and from our trade branch is Nick Fernow who I would like to turn this over to who will introduce each of the companies. Thanks, Peter. So, uh, my job is uh, basically to act as concierge on behalf of our audience, whether you collaborate, whether you're looking to invest. And my job is made really easy by the fact that we have really good top talent uh, companies coming from Ontario, for which we have right here. Um, so, I also my pleasure to make sure that I can take away just for a moment uh, the discourage my hometown, the Claxmo Mayor, and actually let you concentrate on what really Ontario is all about. So first up, we have uh, Payman Allegra of uh, Website Box, and he, this company is an online marketing platform for small business. So, Payman. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Payman Allegra. I'm the founder and CEO of Website Box. Is there a ticker actually? There we go. Um, website Box is uh, the $99 do-it-all website for small business professionals. There are 23 million small businesses in North America, but digital marketing lags amongst them. There was a study done by Boston Consulting Group. They found out that uh, only 3% of small businesses' ad budget flows online. The remaining 97% still spent on digital ways of marketing such as Sunday circulars, bus bench advertising, flyers, and so on. And here's why. For a small business owner to go digital from start to finish, they need to go to six, seven different vendors. First and foremost, they're gonna need a website. So they gotta go to a web designer, design the look and feel of the website. Then they, go, they need to go to a vendor to get uh, the content written for that website. Then they need to go to a hosting company to host the website. Once the website is up and running, they start generating leads. They need a CRM solution so they can manage all the leads that have been generated from the website. And they still need task management, document management, um, and also, also the tools to manage their day-to-day. -day. So they end up going to six, seven different vendors, um, and they spend an arm and a leg doing so. The solutions don't work well together because they're not truly integrated with one another. And uh, there's lack of customization for the specific profession that, that they're a part of. Um, so in uh, January 2013, we decided to change all that. And Website Box was born. Uh, we decided to uh, focus on our first target market, market which was real estate. And uh, we created six different flavors of that. Uh, website Box for residential realtors. Website box for commercial realtors, uh, rental property, and three others. We partnered up with over 240 MLSs across North America. We grabbed data from them every night, normalized the data, and displayed it on our client websites. And we created 21 realtor-focused apps. Uh, the next order of business was to truly make this simple, uh, so that out of the box, the solution would be functional. 
so basically with our websites, as soon as the realtor signs up, it's fully branded with their photo, logo. It's localized for the specific area that they service. And on top of that, they can go ahead and manage it and customize it on their own. And it works with all browsers and devices. Um, and then we wanted to truly give them all the tools they need to market their business online. So uh, we created a app-centric uh, control panel. Um, we have, for example, a website app where they could customize the look and feel of the website. We have a listings app where as we've uh, partnered with over 240 MLSs, grabs the data um, and it brings it to their website. Calendar, document management, CRM solution. So all the tools they need to market their business online are available through this uh, control panel. And it comes with a powerful CRM solution. In this example, Dale Smith is a home buyer. And um, when Dale Smith visits the realtor website and searches for, let's say, $2 million San Francisco properties, the realtor knows exactly what they're doing on their website. What kind of searches they're conducting, how many times they've logged into the website, and their overall behavior is basically uh, recorded for the realtor. Um, we also created a realtor focused app store where they could purchase additional apps and extras. So, for example, we have a Craigslist app where they could publish their MLS listings to Craigslist. We have a blog app, they can add a blogging functionality. Um, so, by this time, we basically solved three of the four problems. We created a customized solution for this specific market segment, which is realtors. Uh, we uh, integrated all the tools and we made it super easy uh, to, to get up and running. And the, the last issue really to address was uh, the pricing model, making sure that they can afford the technology. And we came up with our too good to ignore pricing model. And the offer to the realtor was for a one-time fee of $99, you can have one website, one CRM solution, and an email account. And then the upsell really is we have an app store where they could purchase additional apps and extras. Um, what's interesting about the model is it allowed us to scale to $1.5 million in sales in 18 months. The company's been bootstrapped um, and we only spent 100 k on advertising and we reached at this level. We signed up over 8,000 users. And the other thing we found out uh, about this model, which is quite interesting, is in, in our first quarter, Q1 2013, 86% of our revenue was coming from the initial sign-up and only 14% from the apps and, uh, apps and extras. And in our last quarter, about 57% of the revenue came from the initial sign-up fee and the 43% came from apps and extras. Uh, we are toying with some subscription-based uh, pricing and services as well, uh, which we've tested. Um, as I mentioned, we've signed up over 8,000 users. There are, you know, from all the major real estate brokerages, Remax, Century 21, Keller Williams is of the world. And, um, and we're here to um, uh, kickstart our first round of financing. Uh, uh, we have a booth here outside. If you're interested, uh, please come in and, uh, and talk to me. Thank you for your time. At this point, uh, are you ready to actually uh, vote online? Take a minute. Okay, next up we have Scott Holmes, CEO of Game On Mobile. Good afternoon. My name is Scott Holmes. 